The medieval inhabitants of Swat Valley of Pakistan fall into two groups, Punjabi-like and Pashtun-like. These six DNA samples they gathered are dated to 10th to 16th centuries AD, which means they lived during the Persian Ghaznavid Empire, Turkic Ghurid dynasty and Muslim Delhi Sultanate periods. In this video, we will examine the trait predictor results of six Swat Valley samples from the medieval period. Links to purchase the raw DNA files in 23andMe format will be in the description of the video, along with the link to purchase Trait Predictor Executable. The most common predicted phenotype was Indian, with four samples scoring this phenotype. Additionally, one sample scored an alpinate phenotype, and one sample scored a stranded phenotype. Here is a morph of the average predicted phenotype. The most common predicted eye color among the samples was dark brown, but one sample did also score hazel eye color. The sample that scored hazel eyes is autosomally most similar to Pashtuns. The most common predicted hair color among the samples was black, but one sample did also score dark brown as its predicted hair color. The most common predicted skin color among the samples was light brown, but one sample did also score olive as its predicted skin color. The most common predicted hair texture was curly, and the most common predicted nose shape was Greek. The samples had a high predisposition to male pattern boldness, and five of the six samples were predisposed to lower height. The samples had a strong predisposition to warrior phenotype, which is characterized by high activity of combed MAOA and MAOB enzymes, low dopamine levels, and high ability to tolerate stress. Two of the six samples had a predisposition to higher availability of D2 receptors, and no samples had a predisposition to lower availability of D2 receptors. So overall, the samples were predisposed to higher D2 receptor availability. This leads to higher odds of schizophrenia and bipolar, and lower propensity for no-go learning. Speaking of bipolar 1, the samples had a high predisposition to bipolar 1. The samples had high odds of ADHD, and average odds of unipolar depression. The samples had an overall average predisposition to Alzheimer's. The samples had an average odds of autism, with two samples scoring higher odds, two samples scoring average odds, and two samples scoring lower odds of autism. One of the six samples is predicted to be lactase persistent. The samples had an average predisposition to empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The samples had a low odds of cardiovascular issues overall, high odds of myopia, high odds of primary biliary cirrhosis, high odds of epilepsy, average odds of age-related cataracts, low odds of gout, average odds of rheumatoid arthritis, and average odds of migraine. Two of the six samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants, which is rather average rate, reflecting an average predisposition for this condition. The anaphletic X or T allele in ACTN3's R577X was found at a high frequency among the six Swat Valley samples, whereas the Sprinter C allele was rather uncommon. Only one sample carried the CC Sprinter genotype. The samples had a high predisposition to epithelial cancer and average predisposition to blood cancer such as leukemia or polycythemia vera. The samples had a high predisposition to testicular cancer based on keto G genotypes, high predisposition to breast cancer, high predisposition to brain cancer or glioma, and the low predisposition to thyroid cancer. The samples had a low predisposition to autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, and none of them had HLA-DRB1 risk variants for multiple sclerosis, although two samples did score high odds for type 1 diabetes. However, the samples did have a strong, very strong predisposition to metabolic type 2 diabetes. The samples had a predisposition to elevated glucose levels as well. Interestingly, every sample was predicted to have low red blood cell count. None of the samples had hemochromatosis. Five samples had intermediate, and one sample had lower odds of obesity. Every sample had lower odds of syncope. The samples had a predisposition to elevated LDL cholesterol levels and shorter telomere lengths, which leads to shorter biological lifespan. The most common blood groups among the six samples were A, B, and AB, and no sample scored blood group O, which is very surprising as blood group O is the most common everywhere else in other human groups on Earth. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Make sure to like and share if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.